Hey guys, it's Jeff from my cookbook Turn Your Mom and welcome to our brand new video. So in today's video, our hero is going to be a gorgeous pita bread filled up with some gorgeous veggies and fresh eggs. So let's get into it. Alright, so because this step is actually the longest, we're going to start by grabbing a saucepan and then we're just going to fill it up with water, right? We're going to bring this water to a boil. Once it's very, very hot, we're going to put the eggs in. We're going to let them cook for about five minutes. We're going to let them rest and then we're going to continue. All right, you guys, our eggs are getting ready. So we're going to start by chopping our stuff. I'm going to start with our gorgeous chives. You can use two different methods for this. You can either grab a pair of scissors and just like cut them or you can just chop them very finely with a, with a regular knife. We are going to grab our celery, preferably something like this, which is very young. This is going to have a little bit of a sweeter flavor. Please, by all means, do not throw away the leaves because there is a lot of flavor on this bad boy. So we're going to chop this very finely. And after that, of course, we're going to grab our tomato in our cucumber and then we're going to slice them very finely. So when everything is done, it's just time to put it together. As simple as that. All right, so something very important that I forgot to tell you is that literally after your eggs are done cooking, you need to take them out of the hot water. This is very important because we need to stop the cooking process. And then we're going to put them immediately into cold water. Unfortunately, I did not have any ice with me or anything like that because that would be ideal. But if you do, by all means, just put some fresh water into a bowl, add some ice and add your eggs for a couple of minutes until they get to room temperature so we can peel them. All right, so now that our eggs are ready, we're just going to chop them very, very roughly. And we're going to mix them in a bowl with the rest of our vegetables followed by half a teaspoon of the John mustard and a teaspoon of mayo. And of course, as per usual, we're going to add salt, pepper and olive oil. Alright, so what did I tell you guys? That was very, very simple to make. The end result is going to blow your mind. This is perfect for one of those Saturday or Sunday mornings that you know, like, you want to eat something a little bit different. Trust me, this is literally down your alley. So, if you like this video, do not hesitate to go bananas on that like button over there. Subscribe if you haven't already because that would help this channel quite a bit. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!